when you're at FCS level, you're always going to play some of these, you know, games when you play up to the FBS level. And in this case, we're playing a Power 5 BCS national championship contender. Hi there, it's WAMC News Director Ian Pickus. And on this episode of the WAMC News Podcast, we speak with a sporting David who wants to take down Goliath. Well, the college football season has already kicked off, and the University at Albany has a tall order in its opener today. Controlled, reliable, disciplined, determined. That's what this version of Baylor is all about. The Great Danes are in Waco, Texas to face number 10 Baylor, the reigning Big 12 champion, before a home game against Colonial Athletic Association foe New Hampshire on September 10th. Head coach Greg Gattuso is entering his ninth season and is looking to bring UAlbany back to the FCS playoffs for the first time since 2019. I spoke with Gattuso before the team headed to Texas for one of its highest profile games in history. Uh, you have spent your whole life in football. How do you get ready for a new season now? <laughs> Good question. No one's asked me that one. Uh... Uh, it doesn't change a lot for me. Uh, you know, we, as a head football coach, there's there's a lot of things going on with traveling, moving a team, moving equipment, everything. We got a lot of people working really hard to get our football team to Waco and uh, set up a practice. So, you know, it, busy, I'd say very busy and, and uh, trying to squeeze as much football in with all the um, the uh, administrative stuff as I can. So uh, it, it, it kind of gets on you fast. No time to be nervous. Just um, I'll probably be a little nervous Friday night. But other than that, I mean, I just we're just working and grinding, trying to get ready for the game. With everything uh, college sports and college football has gone through in the past few years with COVID, moving the season to the spring, playing a shortened spring season, all of that now seeming to be in the rearview mirror. Does it make your job any easier? Yeah, I mean, I, there were so many issues and and um i just really just the best thing to do is forget about it and move on and so we're we feel normal and we're we're moving forward we've had a great year of training we had a great summer we feel like we had a good uh preseason camp and and uh we're we got a group of kids on the team that are excited about going out and playing baylor so you know life is good we just want to get going and get this thing started and uh, have a great football season well, uh, Baylor won the Sugar Bowl last year, and they're coming off their best season ever, more or less. Uh, why schedule Baylor? What do you hope to get out of the game? Well, you know, when you're at FCS level, you're always going to play some of these you know, games when you play up to the FBS level. And in this case, we're playing a Power 5 BCS national championship contender, which is, is a tall order for us. But, you know, it, it, obviously there's, there's some money at it. But I think the more important thing is, our kids just love the challenge that, you know, they get to go out and play in, a, in a, um, a great stadium against a top 10 football team. It's never been done at Albany before in, in football. And I think, you know, this team is, is kind of breaking a barrier here to go play this type of football game. So we just want to put our best foot forward, go out there and play our best we can. And, and uh, if we can get this game in the second half and keep it as close as we can and maybe we have a shot to win it at the end which would be a massive upset but we you know that's the plan right now we just got to try to execute it when you do play a team like this you know you've had some on your schedule in years past before do you coach differently do you game plan differently just knowing you know it's a different type of opponent no not really i mean I, we we operate it's all about us and, and how we react and do the things that we're supposed to do i think the danger in these games is a lot of times we found, especially when we played Pitt and some some teams like this in the past, was just being a little bit um, not as focused on the actual game as far as the, the, the bigger stage. And I think, you know, we've really worked hard to get our kids to understand this is a football game. We have to execute. We have to do our jobs. You, you don't have to, to have Superman effort. You, you just have to be do your job every play. And I think we've got our message through. I think, you know, we've, we've had a good practice. We, we have a lot of progress with our team with a lot of new players and starters and things like that but um we're, we're expected that we're excited about going out and expecting that we're going to play a good football game well you mentioned the new faces you had four quarterbacks competing for that role during training camp uh, what's your game plan for baylor and then looking forward after that and i think you know at the end of the day four guys was hard to do but the, the kids worked hard in it we we made it very as fair as we could and um, we felt like going into this game that um, Reese Poffenbarger's a little bit in the front, but 
I really never have settled on a starting quarterback until they get out there and play some games and win some games. So, you know, as far as I know, this is still an open competition. Reese is going to start this week. Uh, we have expectations to play uh, Joey Carino and Tyler Sikowski. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. I think my goal would be by the – hopefully – as soon as possible, but at it, it, the latest by the off week, we would have a guy that we feel is the number one guy. So that's still open in, in my mind. And uh, we want to get out in the field and see how the, our guys perform. Last year, the team went two and nine, but started to turn things around toward the end of the season. Uh, are you putting any extra focus this year on getting off to a better start? Well, yeah, we always, you know, want to get off to a great start of the year. And, and um, it, it's all about, uh, commitment to what we're trying to do and I think you know we lost a lot of close games last year you know we opened at number one North Dakota State we played a top 25 Rhode Island team in week two we played Syracuse in week three we played our fourth game was against number eight Delaware um, it, it, it was just a, a rough opening and we we lost close games um, and I think when you look at us in 19 and you look at us in 21 uh, the difference is we won the close game. So that's discipline, that's coaching, that's on us as coaches. And I think we've done some things to make ourselves better. You know, I feel like we have a good football team right now. I feel, you know, we lost some good players with the transfer portal. I feel like we replaced them plus more um, on the plus side to help our depth and our team. Uh, I think we've greatly strengthened our kicking game. I think, you know, signing Tyler Pistola, who was the first team CAA punter last year, is going to go a long way to making our kicking game better. And uh, I think that um, some adjustments we made are, are paying dividends right now. So we're, we're confident, we're excited. And I think um, regardless of the first game, we, you know, we're looking for having a great season. I know you don't put a lot of stock into preseason polls. The preseason coaches poll had you Albany picked second to last. What do you think of the rest of the conference this year? And do you think that poll got it wrong? Uh, you know, the the poll is generally 99% of the time is wrong. Um, in our league, every year they pick someone at 12th or next to last spot that ends up in the top part of the conference. It's just too close to call in our league. You know, it's every year we sit down to vote on that. I, I laugh. It's just such a, a futile thing to try to do. But 19, we were picked to finish last. We ended up second. You know, last year, Rhode Island was picked last. They finished fourth. It's just the way it works in our league. So we're not worried about it. Um, we know what we have here. We know the type of team we have. We have, I feel really confident with our coaching staff and um, the support we have here at Albany. And, and uh, I'm just really excited about getting on the field and proving it this year that we're, we're the 19 version much more than we were the 21 version. Greg Gattuso is the head coach of the University at Albany football team, which opens on Saturday against Baylor. Uh, coach Gattuso, thanks very much for taking the time and best of luck in Waco. Sure, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, that does it for this episode of the WAMC News Podcast. Thanks so much for listening. Until next time, I'm Ian Pickus.